I'm Kara. Last week we talked about the solution for the alarm Z positive soft limit is valid. Have you checked it? The link is up here. Please go there if you need it. Today we are going to find the solution for the alarm local capacity small. Here, please make sure your CADing system is set CAD. If no, probably the video is not what you need. Any doubt or question, please leave it in the comment below. Before getting into the main chapter, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a like. Thanks a lot. Because there are many reasons for this alarm, the specific solution will be divided into many small steps. In order to avoid the clutter of the video, I have sorted out all the situations into a map. Let's take 20 seconds to feel the complication of today's video in advance. When we meet the local capacity small alarm, first we need to figure out it happens while the machine is in processing or resting condition. If the alarm occurs at a stop state, we need to touch the bottom nozzle by hand or other tools and at the same time checking whether the value C in height controller is changed to zero. If it's zero when we touch the nozzle, please go to the height controller, press F1 and then 2. We'll get into the calibration interface. Then we need to let the cutting head log in close to the mental shape and do the capacitance calibration. If the alarm is still there after the capacitance calibration, we should press F2 and then 7. Get into alarm settings. Check whether the parameters here are set properly. We can appropriately adjust the alarm value of local capacity more. Note that the number in front of plus is not recommended to be greater than 1000. If it's not zero, we touch the nozzle, we need to take the ceramic ring down from the cutting head and then find the thimble. Touch it by hand or, or some other tools. At the same time, we also need to see whether the C value in head controller is changed to zero. If it's zero, when we touch the thimble of the ceramic ring, we can tell it's a problem. We should replace the ceramic ring. If it's not zero, when we touch the thimble for the ceramic ring, we need to find the thimble of the RF wear end. The RF wear we caught here is just the wear connecting the ceramic ring and the single amplifier. We'll call it RF wear next. Touch it by hand or rather tools. Hold checking the C value in height controller is changed to zero. If it's zero, when we touch the RF wear thimble, it can be judged that the connector is in poor contact. We need to replace a connector and test again. Mm -hmm. 
if it isn't zero, when we touch the RF wear thumbbell, the wear is damaged and we should replace it. Now, all the top parts in the map have been explained. Next, we'll go to the lower part. If the alarm appears while the machine is running, it may have something to with laser emitting, gas blowing, motion parameters, and even temperature drift. We need to check one by one. We can blow gas separately. Choose high pressure gas for blowing, and then we observe the C value in head controller before and after blowing. If the C value ranges more than 100 before and after blowing, we need to check whether the installation of the sensor height and the ceramic ring is standardized. Check whether the nozzle is in a tightened stage. After checking those, if the alarm cannot be ruled out, we may need to run a comprehensive inspection of the entire cutting head. Probably it's better to consult in the supplier. If the C value differs less than 100 before and after blowing, indicates that the alarm wasn't caused by the gas. We need to align the cutting head and check whether the optical path is in the very center. For a specific making center steps, please click the video up here. Why we need to make the laser beam in the very center? Because if the laser is polarized and if the laser hits the nozzle, it will cause abnormal capacitance. If the center way is abnormal, please repeat the steps in the video up here. It shows the basic steps to find the center. If finally it still failed, run a comprehensive inspection of the entire cutting head. Probably it's better to consult the supplier. If the center way is finished successfully, making sure the nozzle and the optical path are concentric. We need to turn off the shutter and run the processing test without laser beam. It's for checking whether the alarm is caused by the motion. If the alarm occurs while processing, it can be judged that it's caused by the poor contact of the capacitor transmission part. At this time, we need to check whether the two ends of the RF wear and the nozzle are tightened, and whether the ceramic ring is properly installed. If the above conditions are normal, Run a comprehensive inspection of the entire cutting head. Probably it's better to consult the supplier. If there's no alarm while processing without a laser beam, we can basically confirm that the alarm is due to the processing with laser on. Now we need to find the time happened the alarm. If the alarm happens as soon as the processing starts, we need to check whether the mental sheet is with a layer of film. If it's with film, we need to enable the film cut first and then perform the next cuttings. If there's still alarm, run a comprehensive inspection of the entire cutting head. Probably it's better to consult the supplier.
If the mental shade is no film, run a comprehensive inspection of the entire canning head, or go to the supplier directly. If the alarm happens after processing well, like 10 minutes, it may be the capacitance change caused by the temperature change. We can check it by the change of the C value. If the C value gets smaller beyond 1000, probably we need to replace the RF wear or ceramic ring. If the C value gets smaller less than 1000, we can automatically compensate for temperature drift through the real-time calibration function of the height controller. In the main interface of the height controller, press F2, then press 8 to enter the advanced parameter interface, and then start the real-time calibration function. Is your alarm local capacity small gun and the machine gets back to working for you? If the problem is still there, two options. If your laser is still under warranty, please contact your supplier for a customized problem funding and solution. If your machine is out of warranty, trust me and come to me. My contact information is over here. It's not free, but it's worth every penny. Thank you for joining me here today. I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. See you. Bye.